What's up, everybody? It's Matt Johnson. We are back with another episode of Real Estate Uncensored. This is the place where you get actionable ideas, insight, and inspiration to turn your real estate career into a life of freedom. And we have a phenomenal guest with us today. Both Greg and I have been super excited ever since we got him locked down for today's appearance. Uh, we're talking with Cody Bateman, the founder of Send Out Cards, which you might be familiar with from us talking about it and using it, and also uh, from us having the wonderful Gail Zentech, uh, Greg's new hashtag BFF, uh, you know, on the show uh, previously. So, uh, so Cody's going to share, he's the author of multiple books, and uh, we're going to talk about his latest book that's actually in pre-launch right now, and we're going to talk about some of the concepts from the previous two books that Greg and I have both enjoyed and, and are using and implementing the concepts from that, and we've got a bunch of stuff to talk about when it comes to building our business and really transforming the way that we succeed through relationships and relationship marketing, which Greg and I are both huge believers and advocates in. And so we've got a bunch of stuff to get into with Cody, but first of all, uh, the junior grandmaster himself in the co-pilot seat. But soon, soon we'll be in person, Greg. But for now, you're in your box where you so belong on video. What's up today? Oh, man, I, I, we will be hanging out up here uh, in, the, in the Northern California for the Inman Connect event. I was there yesterday. It was so awesome. I got to hang out with my girl, Beth. Beth, much love to you. Super awesome getting a beer and hanging out with you throughout the event. Um, but, yeah, dude, I'm really been excited to meet, meet and hang out with Cody because, I mean, I'm, I'm, an, I mean, and this isn't, I'm not paying him. He's not paying me for this, but I really love – the product that he has created with send out cards. And it's not because it's a, it's a way to make a really good living or anything else. It's a way to really connect on a genuine level with other people that when you use this product and in all, in all, in all, in all honesty, Cody, when I first started using the product, I thought it was retarded. I'm like cards. Who's going to respond to cards? I mean, I'm a dude like this is bullshit. Um, and then I started using the cards, right? Go figure. And I've had profound, found responses i mean my mother's mom passed away in january of this year i sent her one of the jumbo cards with pictures of her and her siblings and her dad and the whole thing and she got it she started sobbing and called me and said how much she loved it i sent my dad one for for father's day another jumbo card he's redoing his house he called me up and my mom you know he thanked me for it and then um he my mom got on the phone she's like oh your dad really loved it he's not going to show the emotions but he really loved it <laughs> and that's the only thing in his in his office that's standing there as he re reduces it uh, reduces it. I'm really good English. I'm glad I'm on with two authors. This is awesome. Um, but uh, you know the other like my friend our friend Sarah Johnston from the show. She's in, up in Canada. I sent her a big card from the show. She didn't thank me for it, but I called her up and she said, "Oh my God, I'm such an ass. I'm sorry I didn't thank you. It's still sitting on my mantle." I know I talked to another guy yesterday. He said, "I forgot to thank you for the card. It's sitting on on, in, on my coffee table. It's still standing up right there." This product that you guys have, your mentality that you have, is so incredibly powerful because it's so different from everything else we get in this in, in today's world. This is so super personal that people are touched in such a deep way because they don't get customized stuff for them with a heartfelt message anymore. It's all blasé. It's all cookie cutter. And that's what I love about this. It's, it's The product is awesome, but your mindset is what is truly magical here because you have the foresight to see this and say, hey, this other stuff, it's good, but it's not great. And then you created something and you have a tribe of people. Gail, you know, hashtag BFF. What up, girl? I know you're watching. Um, you know, she turned me on to this. And like I said, I thought it was silly. But then when I started using it, it is I am shifting the majority of my marketing over to this type of personalized content marketing that is really 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 powerful so for me to you cody honestly man thank you this is really cool stuff well thank you greg i appreciate that i love listening to you guys man i'm gonna have fun here today you guys know how to have a good time and so uh definitely <laughs> yes, we do. Uh, pre <laughs> appreciate your stories and you know i i kind of want to just comment a little bit on on what you said about the importance of what we're doing the, the way i like to talk about it is we're we're the masters of the tangible touch Ooh. what separates what you know you could do good things digitally you could stay in touch nice in nice ways and and you should you should use all the different mediums you know different social media email whatever all the digital stuff obviously you guys teach you know use all the different uh uh, vehicles to communicate with people, but we've lost the art of the tangible touch in today's society. The tangible touch is is more important than it's ever been before. When we, when I started sending out cards, it was back in 2003, 2004. 
So it was pre-social media days for sure. So we didn't have Facebook and all the stuff like we have today. So when we first launched as a company back in 2003 and four, it caught on really fast because there really was not a quick mechanism to send a birthday card out or a thank you card out or a, a connection type of, of message out to somebody. So we grew like crazy. Well, then all of a sudden social media hit. And the whole world shifted to social media like fast, like everybody started going, oh my heck, well, why do I need to send a card? I just like post happy birthday to somebody or, or I'll just comment on somebody's wall and say happy birthday. So ironically, our business kind of hit the skids. Like, like we always did okay, but we grew like crazy. And then as social media started, our business kind of plateaued out for a couple of years as social media got more and more popular. But here's what's interesting is now it's shifting completely back the other way. So what people are realizing today is that social media is not enough. Digital communication is not enough. Um, there's, a, there's a huge importance to a tangible touch that you have to separate yourself from everybody else, all the other noise that's out there. What social media has done is created more noise, more mm -hmm. information. So today, more than ever before, you have to find ways to separate yourself from other people. Mm -hmm. And so the tangible touch is, is a very popular thing again today, and, and it's very exciting. It really is. It, it really is. I mean, the, 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 it is, I, I wrote down your, your quote here, masters of the tangible touch. I think that's got a lot of power in that. Um, and it, and, it, and it, can, it can transform over into the digital realm actually a little bit because like I was telling you off, off air, that uh, our, our our good friend, you know, Chad out in uh, out in Omaha. What up, Chad? Good to see you, brother. Um, he he had a prompting like in your book. I was doing on my morning motivational show and he talked about some sending love to people instead of sending hate, so on and so forth. But he had a prompting to kind of think about that and send some love to a guy, a client that was kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Within like 15 minutes, uh, the guy hit him back out of the blue. Keep in mind, this guy was a pain in the ass, right? He was the kind of dude that you just didn't want to talk with. Um, it was always negative Nelly. He hit him back like, hey, man, how's your day? What's going on? Like, how's life? Blah, blah, blah. And at the end of it, hey, we should get beers. But it was purely by changing the mindset and changing the the way. He followed that tent. He followed that um, He followed that prompting to go do something. And then tangibly on a digital form, it came back to him. That it was something that, that was that was empowering another person to be positive, and I, I yeah. bet you guys have absolutely, probably millions of stories of how, you know, taking the time to put something out there that is uniquely different, and you know, heartfelt has probably saved lives, literally kept people from committing suicide, um, you know, saved relationships, built businesses, you know, changed mindsets. I mean, just transforming people as a whole by getting something that's uniquely positive, uniquely personal and positive, you know, delivered in the mail. Because what are we used to getting, like, mail, uh, bills and junk mail? That's pretty much what we get, right? Yeah. We're not used to getting something cool that's personalized. Like, Gail sent me a couple of cards, and I posted a, 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 a Malibu ski boat that I love, right? And then my, this new cockpit and everything that I wanted. Well, she took it upon herself to immediately – plaster that on the front of a car and then take the whole boat and put it on the inside and you know write some nice little words and i'm like this is the coolest thing ever i keep all my cards <laughs> by the way these things are way cool <laughs> well and cody that's what's the cool thing now now that you've kind of weathered that initial that that initial gold rush of everybody thinking social media was going to replace everything else now we're kind of in this interesting place where you can use and leverage social media and the information and the pictures that we gain from to that helps us kind of keep in touch with people to actually build deeper relationships and then leverage it by sending them cards that incorporate their social media into this physical thing, which is, I think it's, it's it was a brilliant move on your guys' part to kind of make that available. Well, no question about it. You guys have mentioned Gail Zintek. She's uh, one of our incredible crusaders. Uh, she's amazing. And she's a master at leveraging social media and our card system, our tangible card system, and using them both simultaneously. In fact, she, she teaches concepts to realtors and others about that. But what's cool is, you know, like you said, um, all you got to do, and she she's, does this all the time. She does this, you know, 20, 30 minutes a day. 
she'll just get on there and she just like scrolls and, and just kind of sees what's going on with her friends on Facebook. And whenever she sees something that should be celebrated, she just cuts and pastes those pictures. Their pictures are there. She just cuts and pastes the pictures, puts them onto a greeting card, types in a message, hey, congratulations, clicks a send button. Our system sends a real physical greeting card in the mail. So you might add a box of brownies or some kind of gift to it. And with, you know, under two minutes can send a tangible touch off of a digital form of pictures. And the results that she gets is just phenomenal. And she's one of thousands of stories. So yeah, it's exciting. Well, let's, let's talk a little bit about where this kind of fits into the bigger picture, because that's what you guys do is make it very easy to give people a, a tangible example of this, but it is kind of, uh, it, it's one, one part of the bigger picture. And that's what your new book is about is just the power of, of human connection, the power of actually building a business through relationships. So let's, what, give us kind of the main idea and why you wrote the book and, and where does this kind of all fit in? Well, you had mentioned a minute ago, I'm, uh, I think both of you talked about the fact that we must have thousands of stories of lives changed as a result of using this service. And we do, and they're featured in this book. Part of the purpose of the book was to feature those stories. Uh, we will go out, we wanted to interview people that use our relationship marketing system and send tangible touches out to people on a regular basis. And we wanted to capture the stories of the difference that it's made in their personal life and their business. And it's featured in this book. The title of the book is Power of Human Connection. And the subtitle says uh, how relationship marketing is transforming the way people succeed. So the book's all about relationship marketing. And, uh, it, you know, and it talks a lot about uh, mastering relationships with other people in your personal life and in your business. But also, and Greg, you'll get a big kick out of this, hmm. we have some uh, bonus chapters at the end, but the last five chapters is about mastering the relationship you have with the most important person on the planet, which is you, <laughs> yourself. So the last five or six chapters is all about personal development and how you can create the best version of you hmm. so that you can give yourself away to other people. People talk today about personal branding. You know, you need to create your own personal brand. What is my personal brand? How do people see me? And what we say is you're right. You do need to create a personal brand. That comes from good, solid personal development. Find out who you are so that you can give the best version of who you away to other people that mm -hmm. is your brand mm -hmm. and so the, the the last chapters talk a lot about that I am excited to get I'm gonna go out and get a copy of this book because I want to I'm that's something I'm really digging into is like personal development really identifying who you are so you, like you saying Cody you can give away your best best version of you out that's authentic to what you and who you are and what you stand for instead of being the cookie cutter version of what everybody else is trying to have you be like I'm in a t-shirt and a backward baseball hat doing an interview with an incredibly successful businessman because this is me. This is who I am. This is my identity. This is where I'm comfortable. And this is how you're comfortable. Matt's showing up how, how is he, how he's comfortable, but yet we all resonate with each other because we have a set you know, you know, mindsets around the same type of you know service and people will come into each one of our lives because of they, they see the authenticity that we all put out and I'm curious to know, Cody, you know, when you guys first started this business, what was your mindset around getting started in this business? Like, did you think it was going to, do you think people are going to latch onto it and take off out of like, 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 like a horse track race and just, just out of the gates, you know, gangbusters? Or do you think people were going to be hesitant around it because it was actually sending a card? I mean, how did you guys get started? I really want to know how that's, like, where's your genesis? I mean, how did this get off the ground? Well, it's, uh, I've got a book titled Promptings, and that really kind of conveys the story behind Send Out Cards and why we did it. I would like to be able to say to you guys, I had this big, huge vision that we that I was going to create the best relationship marketing tool in the world and help businesses generate referral revenue and stuff like that. But that was not my vision at all. I really? Not at all. <laughs> my All I wanted to do, literally all I wanted to do, and I tell this story you know, in, in the beginning of the book promptings, um, the, the way, the way the whole thing started is I, uh, uh, was offered a job in New York city back in 1989. 
And I was newly married, had a little baby girl at the time. And we gathered all of our belongings, went over to my mom and dad's house to say bye to our family. And we said our goodbyes. And when I got into the car to leave, we were moving all the way across the country. We had a big U-Haul truck that was following us. And I was, my little family was moving from Utah all the way to New York to go to work for the big, big ad agency. Well, we go to leave. And I look over about 200 feet away in a lot adjacent to my parents' home. My older brother, Chris, was over there moving some vehicles around in this lot. And I had what I call a prompting. I had a prompting that I needed to, a prompting is a thought. It's an intuitive thought that comes to your mind. I had a prompting that I needed to slow down, stop what I was doing, go over, give my brother a hug, tell him I love him, say goodbye. That literally was the prompting. Now, I got to confess, at that time, our family, we weren't huggy kind of people. So to get a prompting to hug my brother was kind of weird because we didn't, we didn't hug back then. Well, I hug like crazy today. You're about to find out why. Um, I had this prompting to do this, and we were in a hurry, and I ignored it. I ignored the prompting, got in the car, took off. I honked and waved at my brother, and he waved back. And I left and we traveled all the way across the country, moved into our new home, been living there for a couple of months, everything going good until I get a phone call at three o'clock in the morning. My, my mother on the other side of the line tearfully let me know my brother Chris had just been killed in an accident, mm -hmm. an industrial accident where he got electrocuted. And I got that news and I was devastated. I was devastated for a lot of reasons. First of all, he was an awesome brother. He was a great friend, but on top of that, the only thing I could think of at the moment was I ignored a prompting to say bye to him. See, now I got the prompting. When I got the news my brother had passed away, now I understood why I got the prompting. So it was like, it was like hit me upside of the head at that moment. It was that was the defining moment of my entire life because I realized that when you have promptings to, to reach out like that, you have to act. You have to act. So my mission, I actually made a promise to my brother that night. This was the day he got killed. I made a promise to him. I said, I'm sorry that I ignored the prompting. I promise you, brother, I will do everything I can to act on my promptings to reach out in kindness to others. And I'll try to help as many other people do the same. And that's, that's, that was the vision behind Send Out Cards. I simply wanted to find a way to help me to act on my promptings and help others do the same. And I'll tell you, I did all kinds of stuff before. I mean, this was an idea. This is 1989. This is an idea way before its time. We didn't have the Internet like we have it today. We didn't have digital printing like we have it today. We didn't have any of the technology. But I had a why. I had a concept. I wanted to find a way that people could express themselves and reach out in kindness to other people. And that's how it all started. So when I started sending out cards, that's what it was all about. I would tell the story. And I just wanted to help people act on their promptings. And over time, uh, a lot of business people jumped in and saw the system as a way to follow up with their customers. So, you know, they saw it as a way to say thank you and happy birthday and whatever to people they do business with. And so, so business people naturally started doing that. And we embraced that. I mean, we embraced that. And uh, over the course of the last in years, we've become the premier relationship marketing system uh, on the planet. There's just there's not another system in the world that can deliver the tangible aspect of relationship marketing like like we can. And it's just been a fun journey. It's been a real fun journey to do it. You know, the I'm a huge. I mean, I, I it's it's funny that you I mean. Thank you for sharing that story. By the way, that's that's a that's a it's a hell of a way to you know to, to, to start a company is by losing a, a, a sibling and you know I I have since I was been a little kid I've always been I've gotten those in, intuitive pushes in a lot of times and I didn't know what they were in the beginning um, but I, now that I'm I, I get them and I recognize them and act I act on them now I've seen I've been I've been fortunate to avoid certain certain circumstances and I've been also very fortunate to be uh, involved with you know some really incredible people. So you know quickly tell us some 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 things that have come into your life because you've acted on your promptings. I would love to hear a couple of those because I know those are probably just going to be absolutely incredible. 
Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've, I've got numerous stories and I love stories of thousands of other people that, you know, things that have happened as a result of acting on the prompts. One of the things I teach is that if you act on your promptings, they will actually guide you to where you're supposed to go with your life. So if you act on your promptings, it's going to guide you to new people. It's going to guide you to people you should know and meet, and it's going to help you in your life course. Um, it's, it's just going to guide you everywhere that you go. And yeah, I mean, I've got countless, countless stories of, of doing just that, of being able to act on a prompting. You know, one, one story, and, and again, a lot of this is just how you bless other people's lives. Mm. And to me, I like to focus on how acting on the prompting actually blesses somebody else. I'll, I'll tell you a quick story. Um, lady that, uh, this is m many years ago, probably 13, 14 years ago when we first got our system out and we got it running, um, I used to send out at least one heartfelt card a day to somebody. So the, the, the practice was the first person that comes to my mind in the morning, I'm going to send them a card that day just to say, hey, I'm thinking about you, hope you're doing well kind of card. So I get up on a Saturday morning and I'm actually driving into the office and the person that comes to my mind is a lady by the name of Pat Chase who does the music at the church that I attended at the time. I said, cool, I'll send Pat Chase a card. So I went in, I pulled up my system, I had her name and address in my system, I went into the motivational greeting card section, I chose a card that said beauty on the front you open it up, it says, things are beautiful when you love them, was the message. And I just typed a quick message and I said, hey, Pat, just a quick note to let you know how much I appreciate you. You make music beautiful. I'm a better poor person for it. Uh, thank you for all you do. Uh, you blessed my life, your friend, Cody. And I push the send button and this greeting card goes out to Pat Chase. Well, two weeks later, I show up at church and she walks up to me and she, she says, I need to speak to you. And she pulls me over the corner and she said, uh, first of all, thank you for the card. And it, you, you have no idea the impact it had on me. She says, I want to explain to you what happened the day I received this card. Hmm. I says, what's that? She says, well, I, I was on my way into the front room of my house. I was going to pick up the receiver of the phone, um, call the leader of the church, and I was going to tell him that I was no longer going to do the music at the church. She said, Cody, for 17 years I've been doing music at the church. I don't remember one time anybody said thank you to me. The only thing I ever get from people is, you know, why did you play this song? And why didn't you play that song? You should have done this, not that. I don't remember a time I got a thank you card. She said, and I was fed up. I was just going to go tell the leader of the church I was done. And then she said, but something told me to go get the mail first. Hmm. What do you suppose that is? That's a prompting. <laughs> yeah. She got a prompting to go get yep. the mail first. So she goes out to get the mail. The only piece of mail in the mailbox that day was that card that I sent. Wow. She opened the card up at her mailbox outside, read the card, and wept. She says, Cody, I wept like a baby. Hmm. And I want hmm. you to know when I went back in the house, she says, I did not place the phone call, nor will I ever place the phone call. I'll keep doing the music at the church, and I'm never going to forget you for how you made me feel. Now, let me tell you, I've had hundreds, if not thousands, of stories that have happened like that over the last, I don't know, 13, 14 years, and I know thousands of other people that have had the same story. If you don't think that we can change the world doing this, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. There's a bigger vision. There's a bigger vision. This isn't just about relationship. It's not just about a cute little greeting card. It's not just about relationship marketing and generating a referral business. It's about changing the world. Mm -hmm. This is about people reaching out in kindness to other people and, and getting the vibrational energy of the world back to where it should be. There's too mm -hmm. much hate, hatred going on out there. I'm not going to stop until the human race gets back together again. Right. And in my own little way and, and system that we have, hopefully we can make a difference. I get kind of passionate about this kind of stuff. Dude, keep it rolling. <laughs> keep going. I love it. Good. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, yeah and, and I think what happens with the with the prompting specifically, and I, and I love that topic, um, and, it, and it jives well. I mean, both both you know both me and Greg's background. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my dad has told me this for years. The the more that you, the more that you yield to the promptings. In other words, you take action on the promptings. The the more that they come, and the more sensitive that you get to them. 
Uh, and so I, I love the idea of having a daily practice where you look for somebody like, hey, who, who comes to mind first? And, and how can I reach out in kindness to them? Because I think it gets, a, it gets our minds, it activates our, you know, the, the reticular activating system anyway. So there's a mechanical kind of brain component to it. But I do think that the, the promptings, we can get more sensitive to them over time. Uh, and they'll happen more often. And, and it leads to stories like that where we can legitimately really touch and, and maybe change the entire trajectory of somebody's life or the lives of, a, in that case, an entire group of people, an entire congregation of people are affected by the fact that she's still leading worship somewhere, right? Um, and so uh, I don't know if that's been your experience. Uh, Cody, I'm, I'm sure it's been the experience of people that have, like, once they get into the system and they get the the concept, they wrap their brain around the idea of giving in to the promptings, it they start to come more often and you start to see even more like it starts, you know, a nice little virtuous cycle or a snowball effect starts to take place. Oh yeah. There's no question. Again, the, the more promptings you act on, the more prompts you get. Hmm. I talk to a lot of people that first of all, what is a prompting? You explain what a prompting is and people say to me all the time, well, I don't, I don't, I don't ever get those. Yeah. I don't ever get those. <laughs> and I, cha yeah. I challenge people all the time and say, yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah you do. The problem is you ignore them, and so you don't even remember you got them. So mm -hmm. what I what I always challenge new people to do is, listen, when you get any thought whatsoever, hey, I just I just I, I want to say, you can have a thought to say thank you to somebody anywhere you go. Get crimey if you go if you eat dinner somewhere and you got a super cool waitress that was really nice to you. I'm sorry, but I don't care who you are. There will be a quick thought they'll say i really should thank her or or their manager for how cool they are everybody mm -hmm. gets those thoughts what i'm saying to you is act when you get them mm -hmm. act when you get them and you'll to get them more and oh, that, yeah. that we see that yeah cody so yeah. check this out man like you're gonna get a kick out of this dude um i took my 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 jeep in my my my, my land beast as i i like to call it and uh you need to get some maintenance on it it was a new dealership i was dealing with and they were telling me one thing, another guy was telling me another thing, and it was just it was a cluster up there. And so what I did is I went in, and this gal sat down with me. She's like, "No, this is how it's going to go. This is what we can do. I'll throw in this for you. Sorry for the confusion." She made it really nice for me, right? So I, I promptings. I, uh, I I walked out. I got her card, and I was walking out to go take the Uber home, and you know, because that's how they get. You know, they, they don't do shuttles anymore. And I walk out, and I'm like. <gasps> I should take a picture of the car. The, the, what a great opportunity. I have her card. I'll take a picture of my vehicle, put it on the front, thank her for being so kind, um, and then maybe that might, might, might make her day a little bit. So I'm, I, it was a prompting. I acted on it. I'm super excited to go back into the dealership. I just want to drive my car, so I have to go get an oil change, so I have to go back in um, just to see how, how she's going to react. But no matter if she remembers it or not, it was a prompting that I acted on, and it felt so good to send that card because hopefully it'll make her day and say, hey, look, you know what? I know sometimes life is hard, you know, the jobs are difficult, but you know, hey, you made a big difference in my life. You simplified things for me, thank you so much. Um, and like you said, Cody, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do that on a daily basis. Any business I go to, any server I talk to, any anything, I get their name, the address of the place, and then I send out a card to the people. And in, it's, it's like a tsunami, right? It kind of builds up and then it just mows people over with all the, you know, the kindness and love that people are being shown out there. Because I really do believe that what you guys are doing, your mindset, what you're really doing is going to be able to transform the people that, are, that, that actually buy into this and actually do this, like take action on this. Um, uh, one of my coaching clients, um, I got them hooked on your on, on send out cards. He was kind of ho-ho about it. His wife jumped in with both boots in the deep end. She's sending like, she sent something like, like 80 cards in like a month. I mean, the woman is on fire. And he went to lunch with, with his local con contractor. Lo and behold, guess how this contractor does all their marketing? Through send out cards. That's how they stand <laughs> up with all of their clients. Nice, that's awesome. <laughs> Isn't that yeah. cool? It just wow. because it's so unique. Yeah. Well, let's say, Cody, you mentioned, you mentioned that uh, like initially it wasn't, necessarily the main thrust of the company was to help people build their businesses but obviously it's businesses have recognized and jumped onto it so uh the, the latest book that you've got is you know how we can transform and really achieve success through relationship marketing so let's talk a little bit about that before we close out so what's your your perspective on just the you know the bigger picture of what why should we focus on this method of building a business rather than all the other like there's a thousand and one ways to reach out and get new customers so why is this um 
How should people think about relationship marketing and why it's maybe a better alternative to all the other ways of growing a business? Well, the number one reason is it gets, it gets results. Yeah, you know, I mean, you get results when you when you implement relationship marketing the way we teach it. You bar none, you get results. The book the book featured, and don't take my word for it. The book features forty plus stories from representing twenty two different business industries. So I've got stories from insurance agents, real estate people, uh, car dealerships, uh, uh, pet care place. You name it. I mean, there's different industries, all of which have utilized our system, and they talk about the transformational shift that it's made in their business. So don't take my word for it. Go read all of the stories, you know, those kinds of things. The, the reason that I think that it is so effective today, we kind of touched on it at the beginning of the show, is that we, we, live, we live in an information age today. We, we live in an information age. So when somebody wants to, to, to buy a new home, as an example, or they want to buy a new car, or they want to go get a hot tub, or they whatever it is, you, you want something, what is the first thing people do? First thing people do is they get online and they, they click in the numbers, or they, you know, they, uh, today they just tell, ask Siri to tell them, you know, uh, how, where, where, where can I find the best deal on a house, or whatever. Bottom line <laughs> is that we live in a Google right. age today where people put their information in if they know more about your, the product and service that you're offering to them, they know more about that than probably you do half the time before <laughs> they even talk to you. So yeah. today, relationships is more important than ever, ever before. You know, it used to, the days of the canned sales presentation where I give you this pitch and I'm going to tell you all my benefits of this and that, and then I'm going to go in for the hard close and I'm going to close the deal. Those days are done, man. Mm -hmm. Those days are done. I mean, there's still masterful salespeople out there. But listen, if you don't have, if you haven't nurtured a relationship along the way, those hard closes aren't going to happen anymore. They've already been closed online somewhere. Yeah. People so are true. seeking relationships. It's it's somebody that they need. You know, uh, people do business with those they know, like, and trust. So yeah. relationship marketing is more important today than ever. It, it really is. You know, Cody, we've seen in the real estate industry um, a shift, kind of like you saw in the card industry. You know, it was personal, then it went super tech, but now it's coming back personal. I was over at the Inman uh, Tech Connect uh, uh, yesterday in, in San Francisco. Huge room, multiple, multiple, multiple speakers, but there was one th one thing that kept ringing true almost on every single speaker. It, it was they, they were saying you have to stay relevant. And to stay relevant is to stay personal. And that is what cards can do. You can stay personal with someone because as, as which I did not understand this when I first met Gail. I just thought she just loved taking pictures of herself because she was her self-proclaimed proclaimed selfie queen. I'm like, what is the deal with this chick? <laughs> <laughs> Walking to stores, selfie click. Walking out of the house, selfie click. I'm like, what the deuce? And um, then she sends me this card with all these cool photos from the weekend we spent together with Hank and a bunch of other people up at this cabin, you know, learning. And, you know, I think with, with what you – boiling it down, if you can do a selfie with somebody or take a picture of their house or take a photo of you, with, you know, of, of just them or their family or something like that, you're going to be more relevant – than if you were to put them on a drip campaign on an email or call them once a quarter to say hi. I mean, if you were able to listen to the promptings, listen to your intuition, act upon those, those nudges immediately, your relevancy rate will go vertical because you, you when people, there, every, everything is energy. Everything is energy out there and we're all vibrating at different pulses. And if you get that intuition, the hit like, hey, I need to talk to Cody, He's on my mind. I need to send him a card. Why? I don't know. Like you did for your gal who sings. Hey, Cody, dude, you're super awesome, bro. Hey, thanks for coming on our show. Wish you all the best of luck. Let's talk soon. You know, Greg, boom. Maybe that might help your day. Not, the, not, not, not pumping myself up that high, but it's an example. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'll be something easier, like back down to Matt or something like that. But, I mean, it's, it's just one of those things that when you, when you get a card in the mail in a nudge of love, it's so rare. It's so rare. And that's what I love. Just stay relevant with people. 
I mean, that's go online, look for people that are maybe they went to Hawaii. Grab that photo, send it over to them. I'm doing that with like people in my business, with title people, with anyone around me. I'm sending them cards. Every time they get it, like, whoa, man, that's such a cool card. Guess what? I'm top of mind. I'm relevant. And now I'm going to be able to, you know, build my business and maybe hopefully build their business. And I try to send all the people that come on our show a send out card just to say, hey, you're awesome. Thanks for your time and go from there. But I just, I just really like this whole concept. There, and there's a, you, you should you should see the comments coming down the other side, Cody. <laughs> there's just bam, man. I love this. It's amazing. I need this. It's incredible. Blah blah blah. So well, let's uh, let's do this. So so Cody, tell people, uh, and then I've got one final question for you based on uh, based on the book promptings that I wanted to cover before we uh, we let you go for the day. Uh, tell people kind of a little bit about where to go grab the book and and what you guys are doing to uh, to promote the book over the next few weeks. Well, we're really excited. We uh, we the the book actually went up on Amazon yesterday as a as a pre order, so you can actually pre order the Power of Human Connection on Amazon. So you could look up Cody Bateman, K O D Y Bateman, or just the Power of Human Connection on Amazon. It'll pop it right up. I just did it. Pops the book right up. Um, we encourage you to pre order the book. And and here's what's going to happen to those who pre order the book. We we want to we in fact one of the things to teach in the book is always always deliver more value uh, than what comes in. So if I get a certain amount of money for something, I'm going to give you three times the value or more than than what you pay for. And so we we want to practice what we preach even in the launch of this book. So those who pre-order the book, if you pre-order the book on Amazon, you're gonna you're gonna you have the opportunity to become part of our pre-launch um, team. Uh, uh, and we'd love you to do that. So what's going to happen is you will uh, you will actually get a um, we will send to you immediately a PDF version of the book. So you pre buy the book and it's not available on Amazon. They'll start sending it on August 28th. So there's about a one month period of time. But we're going to immediately send you the whole book in PDF. A lot of authors won't do that. They'll do one or two chapters. I'm going to send you the whole book. Send you the whole book. You can have it. I want you to read the whole book right now, and I'm I'm actually doing the audio version. I'm I'm uh, recording the audio version next Monday and Tuesday, so within a week the audio version of the book will be ready. As soon as it's ready, we're going to send you the audio of the book. So you're going to get a piece of the book, you're going to get an audio of the book, and then I'm going on a 10 city tour over the, uh, uh, from August 7th through the 22nd. Um, and and you can go on to the Cody Bateman fan page to see where the cities are. But if you show up at one of those tours, we're, we're going to give you a copy of the book. So you can actually get the audio or you get a PDF of the book. So pre-order the book. We'll immediately give you a PDF of the book. We're going to give you an audio version of the book. Uh, if you if you make it to one of our pre-events, we're going to give you a physical copy of the book hot off the presses. And then Amazon will send you the copy that you ordered. Now, why are we doing that? We're doing that, number one, because we want to get the message out. We want to educate the world on relationship marketing and making a difference in the world. Number two, we want you to participate in, in, in helping us uh, share that message. And uh, we feel that this is a great way to be able to do that. So uh, ho hopefully you'll get a chance to do that. We're really proud of this work. We put a lot of effort into this book. Um, I'm not a, I don't rely on ghosts writers or anything like that. I've written every word of the book. Uh, I definitely have excellent editors who come in and, and do, you know, make me look better, you know, make me good. But but I like I love to write, and so I write every single word of the book. Um, but a lot of the book came out of, uh, uh, we transcribe all of my relationship marketing weekly shows. Every mm. Wednesday at 1 o'clock, I do a, a relationship marketing weekly show, which ironically, I go on my show 20 minutes from right now. Uh, and I feature another story every single week. Well, we have transcriptions of, all of those weekly shows for the last year and a half, and a lot of the content of the, this book has come out of those. So we're excited. We're very, very excited about that. Cody, I actually, awesome. before you even said that, I have I have pre-ordered your book. It is on its way on August whatever. Guys, it costs 17 bucks. Go buy the freaking book. I mean, look at the upside value on this thing. When you said audio, you had me at audio book. Um, 
I can't wait to be listening. <laughs> I'm like, Sp- say no more, sir. Say no more. Audiobook exactly. is all you need to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I really did. All right. Well, let's. Uh, I'm super excited to get it, guys. Um, yeah, I'm because re- this thing is gonna. I think this gonna. Ha- this book is gonna have more power, Cody, than you know that's gonna have, because the inspirational stories and you know basically it's it's just the opportunity to show people their future. Because if you take a- certain actions, this is what's happening around the globe. You know, with this product, why couldn't it happen with you? And then the last that you said five chapters are all about self development. That's where I'm going to start. Just tell me what chapter to start at. <laughs> I'm going to start like, okay, let's work on uh, work on senior dipshit over here, and then I'll go back and I'll figure out the good stories. <laughs> <laughs> be able to, uh, Ch- to, to chapter to, chapter 12 through 18 start there and then go to the beginning yep. 12 through 18 <laughs> chapter got it written down seriously i wrote it down oh my gosh yeah. all right <laughs> let's let's finish out with this so one of my favorite parts of the book promptings uh was cody your section on affirmations and and the, the language that you use when you talk to yourself and your affirmations uh it's funny because i actually went back and completely rewrote and tweaked the language in what i would call my dream statement uh, which is the ultimate dream for my life that I review in the morning, right? So I read through that every morning when I first get up. Um, so let's talk. I would love for you to hear, just spend a couple of minutes and kind of share your perspective on the language, how you phrase your affirmations so that they make more of an impact in, in our unconscious minds. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. That, that is uh, some uh, subject I'm very passionate about because of the um, – because of how much uh, that has affected my own life and thousands of people that, you know, we teach these seminars all over the world and we take people through the affirmation process. We call them I am statements. And they're incredibly powerful, Matt, as you know, how powerful they are. It is yeah. important that, that uh, just cutting to the chase, affirmations always start with the words I am. The subconscious mm-hmm. mind doesn't know the difference between what's real and imagined. So if you say you, you can program your mind anyway. Story in your mind becomes the story of your life. The problem is, is that the majority of people's stories are negative. You know, people yeah. watch the news and they watch stuff around them. And so they put stories in here that are negative. Story in your mind becomes the story of your life. You end up living a negative life. All you have to do is switch that and start putting positive stories in there. You do that. You have your master I am statement that's the ideal life for Matt Johnson and you you review that every single day. That's the most powerful programming that you could do. And to your subconscious will begin the manifestation process of that. To do that, you've got to make sure that your I am statements are short, concise, to the point, all with positivity in them. Mm-hmm. The subconscious mind does not think. The subconscious mind feels. So what, mm-hmm. whatever you put down on this statement, it's it's got they have to be feeling words. Yeah. You know, and they got to be positive words. So one of the biggest examples I give is almost everybody will write down a statement about finances. Mm-hmm. And typically the statement will be something like, I am financially independent and debt free. Yeah. Well, what? Okay, that sounds like a great statement, right? I'm financially independent and debt free. So the subconscious doesn't think it feels. It's already used to feeling things based on words that come into it. Mm -hmm. I am financially independent and debt free. Which word do you think subconscious picked up on? Debt. It picked up on the word debt. Mm. So when you talk about how important the language is in there, Mm -hmm. it's a great statement, but the word debt probably just negated the whole manifestation process that you're looking for because it's just going to pick up on the word debt. Mm-hmm. So you change it to say, I'm financially independent and free. Right. Yeah. Look at the difference. I'm, I'm financially independent and debt free, or I'm financially independent and free. When you make mm-hmm. little subtle changes like that, it makes a huge difference in where you go with your affirmations. Oh, my God, yeah, Cody. I, I mean, you and I are sharing a brain, brother. So uh, I, I do my I am statements every <laughs> morning. Check this out. So. I, I, I did this little screenshot. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. Whoops. And it's yeah, uh, this the thing. That's cool. Yeah. The I am. So I go back and I read these things. And there was this yeah. thing on my Facebook thing. And it was, just, it was just shooting out the I am super, super, super fast. And I'm like, screenshot, 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 shot as fast as I could. And I got all of these. And I'll sit up and I'll, and I'll, and I'll read this stuff. And, you know, I am elevating. I'm ready. I'm a leader. I'm, I'm beautiful. I'm strong. I'm determined. I'm forgiving. I'm respected. I'm seeing past the BS. I'm overcoming. I'm trusting the journey. I'm organized. I'm beautiful. I'm successful. I'm dedicated. And I'll read all these things and I'll just say other things to myself. And it, it is 
transformationally unreal. Like it, 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 I am is the most powerful human statement to ever be made because it is the only statement that you, you can control 100%. Nothing else can you control more I than the that. I am statement. Yeah, no. I love that. It's beautiful. And it is yeah. such a cool thing to do. Um, and I I mean, I could I could really dork out with you right now on this whole mindset <laughs> thing. <laughs> I know, we gotta, we're going to keep it short. Cody's, Cody's got a, uh, an event to get to. <laughs> well, <laughs> what, we'll, email. I'll, we'll, we'll save the dorking out, Greg, for you and me on, on a solo show. <laughs> on, on affirmations. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> but so people can pre-order the book. So it's the uh, the the is it the power of human connection, right? That's correct. correct. Perfect. Yep. And then, power of uh, human connection. The, just good. Yeah. Yeah, and then the Cody Bateman. You said there's a Facebook fan page where people can keep up with actually where you're physically going to be on your on your ten ten or a hundred city tour or whatever it is that you're going on to uh, to support the book launch. Yeah, just uh, facebook.com forward slash Cody Bateman with a K K O D D Y Bateman, and you'll be able to see the fan page and have all that stuff on there. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, and then for anyone that's interested in send out cards like what we're doing, uh, I think, Greg, if I spotted it correctly, didn't you put a link in the Facebook comments where they can go to actually send a free card or something like that through your account? I, I sure did. Good eyes on that, Matt. Um, I put it in there. So it is send a free card with Greg. Um, or no, free card. Uh, what the hell is it? Free card by Greg or I think it's free card by Greg. Um, go in there, guys. Go to the link. Let's let's make sure that I'm actually sending them the right place before I send them on a wild yeah, we goose chase. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll make sure that the right link gets into the show notes if it's not the one in the Facebook comments, guys. But we just want to, you know, say a quick thank you, Cody. This was awesome. Exactly what we had in mind. We were super pumped when we were able to actually get uh, time on your calendar and kind of made it made it work and made it happen. I appreciate you doing it right before you have your own uh, webinar for your own internal folks. Uh, we'd love to have you back and talk about any subject that you want to talk about because mm -hmm. there's a that we can go deeper into affirmations, mental blueprints, uh, you know, uh, wiring yourself for, for success when it comes to sales, which is a lot of uh, roadblocks that a lot of people in the audience have. So we'd love to have you back sometime. We want to honor your time. Yes. Uh, so just want to thank you and thank everyone in the audience for listening and for all the all the positive comments that we got, all the compliments for send out cards, uh, all the all the love that Gail got from other folks. Uh, Monica Weekly, who also uses send out cards, was super pumped. Cody, that you were on the show today. So we just want to publicly thank you and thank everyone for watching and listening. We really appreciate it. Yeah, really much. And so, you guys, thank go you to, guys. Go to freecardbygreg.com. Go to freecardbygreg.com. You guys can send a card for free. Check out what Cody and his, and his team have, have built and how powerful and impactful this stuff is. Uh, it doesn't cost you a dime. And send it to yourself, send it to your mom, send it to whoever you want. Just give it a run, see what's going on. Um, Guys, go to bookmcdaniel.com as well. Uh, let's talk about EXP. Let's talk about if we're the right team for you. But I do want you guys to talk to me. I really do want to speak with you. So like it says on the screen, please go to bookmcdaniel.com. Uh, get 30 minutes with me. Let's see if this is the right place for you. Matt, uh, color of the bow, please. Oh, man. That's a tough one. Let's go with uh, let's go with gray for today. No. Gray. I know. Okay. Nice, let's... Love, nice gray. Let's put a gray bow upon this episode. A gray bow. <laughs> Um, all right, guys. Hey, we love you to pieces. Thank you so much. Cody, you are absolutely a legend, brother. Thank you for your time. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for your new book. Thank you for you know the product. It is bringing light and inspiration to hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people around the world. And you guys will only grow more from here just because you're so, so unique. Uh, so thank you for your time. Um, Matt and I love you guys. This is what we do. We bring legends like this onto the show uh, to share what we're doing so that you guys can go out and crush it and just, just be legendary in your own marketplaces. So until next time, guys, peace out, ninjas. We gone.